Houston, we have a solution. The two NASA astronauts who've been stranded in space for months are finally coming home. The space agency announcing Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore could be back on Earth as early as tomorrow evening. News Nation's Caitlin Becker joins us live. So, Caitlin, we understand these astronauts are actually returning sooner than was initially announced. That's exactly right, Nicole. And that's because ultimately the one calling the shots right now is Mother Nature. So it's really a question of when the weather is the most optimal. NASA reporting last night that their team, along with a team from SpaceX, are now targeting an earlier return, quote, based on favorable conditions forecasted for the evening of Tuesday, March 18th. The plan had been to bring Butch and Sunny, who've been up there for nine months, remember, the plan was to bring them home Wednesday, but the agency is anticipating less favorable weather later this week, and it seems they're just trying to mitigate the risk of any further delays because there have been so many now. So here is how all of this will play out. Today, SpaceX Crew 9 is going to spend time completing handover duties with Crew 10, making sure they're prepared to take over at the space station. Then just before 11 o'clock tonight Eastern time, the hatch on the return capsule will begin to close. At around 1 a.m. Tuesday, undocking is set to start. That begins the journey back to Earth. And approximately 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow evening, the astronauts should finally splash down in Florida. Of course, Nicole, as we have seen, these things can really change right up till the last minute, but it looks like Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will finally soon be home. All right. So, Caitlin, take a step back, kind of walk us through why these astronauts were stuck there for so long in the first place. So long. It's really been quite the ordeal for these astronauts. They were initially set to return home aboard the Boeing Starliner. That's what they took out there. It's the same rocket that brought them into space. But the Starliner had just a slew of issues. We're talking thruster malfunctions, docking problems, and helium leaks. So the astronauts couldn't return home after a little over a week, which was planned. Then weeks turned into months. The Starliner got sent home empty for safety reasons, and then there was a plan to send the SpaceX capsule to retrieve the astronauts instead. But still, it wasn't that easy. SpaceX capsule, that one needed battery repair, so that delayed things again. Then last Wednesday, with just 48 minutes to launch, there was a malfunction with the hydraulic arm that holds the rocket in place on that launch pad, and it was scrubbed yet again. Thankfully, just a few more days is all they needed. This has really been a long time coming, though, Nicole. A very, very long business trip, I would say. And they but they seem to love it up there, so I know that this they is do. what astronauts dream of. Maybe not, you know, eight days to nine months, but hey, they're coming home. Caitlin, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.